Chris with HobbyKing.com. We've got a fantastic product we're going to be talking about today. It's actually this little control board right here. And what this is is a brushless gimbal controller. There's some unique features about this particular one. We're going to go over here in a second. First, let's cover that this is an Alexmos board. It's officially licensed by Alexmos and Basecam, so it runs the Basecam GUI, so you can get in here and do all your program. It's extremely easy to use. We've covered that in some other videos. Uh, when we release the uh, the hand gimbal and the Alexmos boards, the quantum Alexmos boards, um, what this is is essentially a micro version of it. Now, since it is physical, or since it is actually licensed, uh, you're able to upgrade this and use the latest GUI, so no worries there. So the original uh, Alexmos board, uh, the two axis and the three axis, as you can see, pretty big board uh, as far as the size. Works great. The original board can handle 90 millimeter motors, no problem. Problem is, is if you had a smaller GoPro size uh, quad and gimbal, that's a fairly decent sized board to be mounting on there. Same with the Martinez controller, using the same footprint, basically the 45 millimeter footprint. Um, so when you start getting into the, uh, the smaller gimbals, you're just carrying a lot of excess weight and uh, power that you didn't necessarily need. So this is what has come out to be is just a, a small board for the smaller gimbals but still want the uh, usability of the Alexmo software and everything that goes with it as far as how stable it is and, and uh, how refined the, uh, the program is itself. Now let's go over some of the connections and everything that go to this board. To go with the small board is the IMU and this is a tiny little IMU. You can stick it right to the side of your action camera right on the bottom of whatever gimbal you have. Has a port right there and you just plug it in uh, it's ready to go and on the bottom side we've got this multi-pin connection and that just plugs in now out of this uh, you've got your power and your grounds and this is just a uh, JST connector so you can uh, just plug it right into your system ready to go if not just cut them off and solder it up to whatever power you have there uh, the four wires coming out these are A0 through A3 and this allows you to change your pitch your roll your modes, uh, whatever you assign these to do in the GUI and just update that to the, uh, the brushless gimbal controller itself. Now, on the motor end, it comes with some nice little small connectors that you can just solder up to the motors, whatever motors you have. It also has some 90 degree uh, pins uh, for the three that you can solder on there and use the standard, uh, standardized um, uh, servo style connectors, the JR connectors, if uh, your motor's already pre-wired and configured for that. Now, since this is a smaller uh, controller from the original, this obviously can't handle those big 90 millimeter motors. And each phase, each motor can handle about 2.8 amps per. So uh, about a 40 millimeter uh, motor or smaller, like I said, it was really geared for that uh, smaller um, action cam GoPro size uh, gimbal. Now, since it is a little bit smaller as well as uh, not quite as powerful, we went to Lexmos and said, hey, you know, the, uh, the MAP for that big full blown one that professionals are using on those ha steady hand gimbals, uh, is great, but it doesn't really apply when you get into the smaller action cam market. So we talked with him and we showed him this board and said, you know, since it has less capability, it can only handle so many motors, it's only two axis, uh, even though it's full Alexmos, um, we were able to actually uh, negotiate a lower MAP. So you're gonna see this rate at 79.99. That's the MAP we negotiated with them. So uh, for the first time, you're gonna be able to grab uh, an Alexmos. You can pair this up with our action cam gimbal and actually be cheaper than a Terrot gimbal running full Lexmos between the two packaged together. So definitely check it out. If you're looking at gimbals, this is absolutely perfect match if you're into that uh, smaller uh, uh, frame size and, and uh, action cams that you're using. As always, subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you next time.